Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, viewers. I'm Matthias Ofiku, news editor of the Namibian Sun newspaper. Welcome to another exciting edition of Evening Review. Before we get into the show, let's have a look at today's headlines. As promised, it's another exciting show. We have we're joined by Mr. Kadenabo Kadenambo, former lawmaker, a member of the public now. Welcome, sir. Yes, welcome. Thank you for having me here as usual. I understand you. People are complaining that why are you bringing me here? Why are you always here? I don't know why am I here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think today today we're going to speak about uh, the recent the recently signed genocide deal, and um, particularly. We take it back into time, just to contextualize things, the issue of, we had the issue of the skulls also, involving the German government also. You were in charge of uh, that delegation that went to collect the skulls of Namibians who were butchered by Germans to bring it, to return it to Namibia. How are those negotiations in comparison to the current ones on the genocide? Yeah, the, the, if, I may, if you won't mind, there the, the, the are similarities, there are differences mm -hmm. um but the i'll start with the similarities and then uh, address the the differences the similarities is that the 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 the, the component were exactly like they are today mm -hmm. it was the government of the republic of namibia the government of the headed by me and uh, the government of the Republic of Germany, <laughs> they were dodgy, dodgy. Mm -hmm. they, you didn't know who, who, who was heading it, yeah. whether it's a minister, or deputy minister, ambassador, or what, what. But at last, after tough negotiations, mm -hmm. tough, tough uh, maneuvering, mm -hmm. we reached consensus that the deputy minister was deployed. Yeah and then it was balanced in that score mm -hmm. and then it was community uh the affected communities mm -hmm. they were they were they, they were headed by the traditional leaders yeah. um uh, or a number of Herero and nama and or mandero traditional leaders mm -hmm. uh, and then you had under this arm of uh, traditional leaders, you had the genocide committees, mm -hmm. various genocide committees, both for Hereros and Nama. Mm -hmm. So it was a three-legged, three, it was a tripartite yeah. uh, setup, mm -hmm. structure. Uh, uh, that, that, that was the similarity just like now, because the, I think this is the formation at the moment of the current negotiations. Uh, the difference that I see in these current ongoing negotiations in, in relation to the previous negotiations that led to the return of the skull. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't addressed the push and pull mm -hmm. and the, the environment so far. I'm just addressing the, the structure, the structural setup or the, go, the organogram yes. of the whole thing. Uh, First, the, the first approach was that the, before we went to engage the Germans on this topic, once we, le we learned through cabinet, through ambassador in Germany and through cabinet, uh, once we, 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 
we realize that this topic is on the table this topic it need to be to be to be addressed government our government the government of the republic of namibia open dialogue with local communities mm -hmm. through their traditional leaders to reach consensus on how to approach this matter and then there there was a, a push and pull yeah. push and pull amongst the communities themselves tug of wars we had several meetings that the minister was a, was a deputy minister no i was a full minister of youth and sports and culture so we had uh, several meetings with the committees uh, and the traditional leaders who should uh, participate who should uh, and really they ironed out to, to sum it up yeah. they ironed out their differences and they reached a common ground and uh, amongst themselves first first and foremost mm -hmm. and then we identify our commonalities now as stakeholders Namibian stakeholders, both community uh, entities and the government. Yeah. So we ironed out our differences and we identify our common areas. We identify what, what really warrants government to participate. Yeah. Where do we start as government and where do we end? And where do the communities, the affected members, where do they start and where do they end? Mm -hmm. The, the lines were drawn and uh, commonalities and understandings were, 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 were real consensus was reached on a number of issues mm -hmm. we ironed out a number of issues after long negotiations that yeah. went into nights early in the morning and so on they were really norming and forming and eventually we we, we formed one front yeah. and then now as, as a namibian team we started facing the the German team. Mm -hmm. These colleagues have been in this in this game over years. <laughs> they have dealt the, uh, after the Second World War. They engaged bigger powers, yeah. the the Allied forces, the Allied forces that defeated them. Yeah. They are not new to this terrain of reparation. So they, they were unleashing and deploying all weaponry in their in their stockpile mm -hmm. against us yeah. or on this topic of the of the or of the return of the scars. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to be implicated in any way. Equally, as much as one can underestimate us, we have been around yeah. our background during the liberation struggle. Uh, 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 we, we have engaged South Africa and the imperialist world, <laughs> the, the, the Western Five and so on. So we are equally not new to this terrain. But who, who was the underdog during these negotiations? They thought we were underdogs. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm using the word they thought mm -hmm. that we were underdogs. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we prevailed mm -hmm. and we proved that there is no underdog in this thing. We, we need to reach consensus. We are in the same boat. We need to, it's in the best interest of all our people, mm -hmm. both the Germans and here. Yeah. And uh, I'm telling you, when I'm talking about the Germans, I'm talking about the German government is the one that we're dealing with. There are many people of goodwill in Germany. Yeah. And the yes, people of goodwill, the Germans, uh, they are not only imagined now, even during the, 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 the war of carnage, mm -hmm. Uh, of 1904, 1908, there, there, there were Germans of goodwill, even here in the then German South West Africa, whose shops were boycotted, who protested, same in with German, German politicians like August Bebel and so on. They protested of the Socialist uh, Party. They protested against this thing to say what uh, von Trotta was doing in, in this country. It was nonsense. It was uncivilized. It was barbaric and so on. Mm -hmm. There were Germans who condemned this. And we also know even well that the person who first apologized to Hamakari, she was a German minister, pure German, full-blooded. Mm -hmm. A number of NGOs in Germany uh, who support uh, our NGOs, our 
our, our, our genocide committee. Mm -hmm. They are composed of Germans people. So our, our our negotiations is not a phobia and fear that we are fighting against everybody. But the, 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 the thing that is driving this negotiations is interest. Mm -hmm. Economic interest. Yes. And uh, as, a, as a product of the liberation struggle, as a seasoned negotiator, because I served as a Swapo Youth League Secretary for Economy for Foreign Affairs mm -hmm. for more than 10 years, yes. if you go into their history. Mm -hmm. So I represented, I, I was at various international platforms. I saw people engaging one another. PLO versus the, the Israel, the Israeli. I know the behavior, even of progressive uh, youth from Israel, from the Likutu party, and so on, not the conservative one. Yeah. You could see when it comes to vested interests, it's a question of survival. And... Uh, Swapo has trained me in that area and has deployed me at various yes. international fora. So I was not new to this terrain mm -hmm. uh, 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 as much as the Germans they thought we are underdogs. And uh, also the Namibian cabinet, I'm telling you, is composed of seasoned uh, negotiators. Uh, our legal team, people like Dr. Albert Kawana, was handy. He was guiding us legally that uh, let us not go there because when we go there legally the, 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 these people will con us so we are all awake and they, re they soon realized that no these people are not new to this mm -hmm. and uh, within our team we had people like Atuti Rekaura these are New Yorkers the first as Munjwa the 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 the, 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 the advocate uh, Veku Ikurukoro, former attorney general of this country, uh, Chief Kwaima Riruako, uh, Kaiepa Valandu, Chief Kaiepa Valandu Maharero, uh, and the youngsters like Chief Derawa is a lawyer, mm -hmm. the current chief, yeah. and he has been deployed in international relations amongst many others, economists, the Hungarians. So really, we were <laughs> we were a team. Mm -hmm. Uh, of a vari composed of various experts who will look at who will d who will scrutinize every issue from a legal perspective, from an e an economic perspective, mm -hmm. from a social perspective. It was a team, yes. and we're also relying constantly. We're in contact with. We're in touch at home. We're both at our cabinet level and at a community level. Yes. So we're really armed to defend. But the the colleague in Germany wanted to corner us mm -hmm. because if I, may, if I may come in mm. uh, number, you, you chart this picture of how how structurally you were you were set for the negotiations for, on the issue of the skulls mm. now with the issue of the reparations you you are one of those who publicly lashed out on numerous occasions in the manner of how we are handling the reparations negotiations are you saying it's a matter of the structure and the composition of the teams the, the problem that we are having here and this is where the Germans are nailing us. Mm -hmm. And it's where they also attempted to nail us on, on the first round. Mm -hmm. Here we are divided structurally. Because firstly, we did not get consensus on how we are going to approach these things. Between the government of the Republic of Namibia and the affected community, mm -hmm. that we never reached any consensus. And that's why right from the beginning, I'm the one who, and you are correctly, as you are correctly saying, even up to now, I'm lashing out at the approach because if the approach is wrong, you won't get it right. And more so if you are dealing with the Germans. These colleagues, you know, there are, there are people knocking at their door mm -hmm. from various corners. Greece, as we are talking now, they are knocking at, they are, there are many people across the globe who are whose eyes are fixated on how this issue is going to go out. So the Germans are not only dealing with Namibia on this issue of reparation, mm -hmm. they are dealing with the world. Yes. So they know that whatever little thing is going to, any loophole they open here, they, they will be gotten in. So it's a question of really us organizing ourselves. And I was saying that mm -hmm. right from the beginning that I don't have a problem with who is going to be involved in this thing. My problem, my biggest problem is the approach 
that we are taking. Okay. How? What approach if I may, if I may uh, answer this? Someone will, you also, know, someone will also ask, but why do you think your, the approach that you are proposing is the right one? Because, they, because I'm saying that we have got... Firstly, the approach that, we, that, 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 that I'm proposing, mm -hmm. it, it has worked. It has worked in the return of the first skull. And the, 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 the approach which we have also applied in the return of the skull yeah. is the same model which the Jews and the government of the Israel, yeah. the World Conference of Jews the, 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 and the government of Israel, it is the very same model approach which they have approached mm -hmm. when they were engaging the government of Israel, the government of Germany in, 99, mm -hmm. in 1952. Yeah. The, you know the, the, the Jews, when you are talking about the Jews, you are not talking about the Jews coming from Israel hailing from Israel. The Holocaust are, are, are affected the Jews across the globe. And definitely, if you look at the question of the genocide, or of the, of the of Heronama genocide, the manifestation of the same. Uh, the, 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 the war, the end result of the war, scattered the Heronama and Nama across the globe. Mm -hmm. They are no longer, majority of them live in this country, but majority, of, but a, a substantive number of Namas who were displaced and Hereros who were displaced by this war, either who were forced into banishment, they find themselves across the globe. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the characteristics of the Holocaust and the characteristics of the of a Herero Nama genocide mm -hmm. are the same. Yes. Therefore, the model of handling them, and you know, if you can look at the Jews, who are, cross, who are hailing from various countries. You know, they are at their community level. They are just divided. Mm -hmm. In the same exactly way. Maybe it's a war effect, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But they are just divided like the errors and Namaz are divided here. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's the same. There is nothing new here. But they organize themselves, reached consensus, to say that no, some of them, they will be represented. Those who find the, themselves in, the, in Israel, they will be represented by the government of Israel. Those who find themselves scattered across the globe, they will be represented by the World Conference, mm -hmm. or by, by, by the World Jews Conference, that is representing Jewry across the, the globe, yeah. whether they are European Jews, or they are the American Jews, and so on. Wherever they find themselves, whether they are in Algeria, whether in Africa and Algeria, whether they are in East Europe or, wherever they are, or they are, whether they are in Germany itself, because this does not exclude mm -hmm. the Germans that were the Jews that hail from Germany. Yeah. Holocaust affected all Jews. But here, the sad part is that, and this is where, where I differ with everybody, mm -hmm. and where I went astray, if I may, if, if <laughs> I may use that. Yeah, where I, I really went mm -hmm. astray, if I, if I may put it that way, and I'm using it deliberately, because. Uh, I don't agree with the model mm -hmm. because here we, ha we have departed from our successful model that worked. We've got a model that, we have that was successful uh, here. If just, just let me just chip in there before you continue with that point. Is it possible for the model that was used by your team? Which was used by our team, to which was used also by the, by the Jews and the government of Israel. To, to be implemented by different personalities other than yourself, would it still have worked, this, given the same outcome? The thing is not about the number. In fact, I'm happily outside the, the, whole, uh, the whole structure, formal yeah. structure. Mm -hmm. I'm on the, I, no wonder people are asking, why do you keep bringing me here? Mm -hmm. I'm happy somewhere. You can even read in my <laughs> face, man. I'm very happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I don't need this stress. Mm -hmm. But I'm a victim, apart from being, uh, not a victim, a descendant yeah. of genocide. And apart from being a descendant, I'm also a citizen of the world. This issue, I cannot close my eyes and ears because I'm enjoying in some way uh, her life is treating me well somewhere then I must just blind myself of realities mm -hmm. yeah, because eventually if this issue also is mishandled it has got potential to become a powder keg mm -hmm. that can destabilize this country yeah. so I'm mindful of all these factors so this model can be implemented by anybody it just mm -hmm. doesn't need to be Kaden Nambo who is Kaden Nambo and why should it be Kaden Nambo mm. yeah? Why should it be? Because the number they are able and capable bodies, even when we went during the 
you, 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 the, during the collection of the skull. The reason we are successful is that there was no competition amongst ourselves. Mm. Uh, uh, none, zero, we reduced it to zero through negotiations, both at home here and also when we went in Germany, those Germans thought that they are dealing with fools. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we proved to them that if there is a fool here, definitely it is not us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, our brothers and sisters in Germany, both even including German politicians and NGOs and the international media, they rallied behind us, yeah. international solidarity, because our cause was clearly defined. And we, this is a just cause. So let's go back to the model. And I, I think I have answered you that this thing has got nothing to do with the number of the person. Mm -hmm. And I'm not jealous against anybody. I will wish that person good luck. And if these people also can approach us to say that, how did you get right? What, what were the challenges that we, you, you, you faced when you went to collect the, 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 the first skulls? Mm -hmm. We will share the, 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 the challenges that we... So you mean you were never approached? No, because the reason is that my friend here, the approach is that we, it's name calling. Yeah. It's name calling, you are either in or you are out. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't also compare to models. I can list the number of, of, of models that worked. Mm -hmm. You know the argument where we lost it here mm -hmm. is that government from day one and that's where i differed and i still differ mm -hmm. government approached this matter as a state actor mm -hmm. government to government yeah. and immediately we did that the germans they celebrated yeah. and i can tell you why they celebrated because they knew that the government is a, not a direct victim yeah. neither nor indirect victim do you think that's why Germany only admitted that it was indeed a genocide only after the deal was struck? In fact, we, we, and that's why somebody was asking me, why do I call people clowns? Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying that I'm telling you that the day we said we are going to approach this matter as a state actor, mm -hmm. the Germans are celebrated. Yeah. Because to start with, if it is state actor, you have an, a, a, alienated many constituencies. Even at an international level, mm -hmm. the, the international solidarity from NGO, German NGO, German politicians, Germans, what, what, we have alienated them totally. Mm -hmm. When we went there, we didn't alienate anybody. No, we reached consensus amongst ourselves. We, didn't, we did not reduce this thing to a state actor thing. From our total approach, because we even included communities and chiefs were just participating and their communities and their NGO, yeah. these uh, genocide committees, mm -hmm. and us, we were participating in these things on equal footing, everywhere. And when the Germans wanted to dodge, we nailed them, we told them that the international instrument, the, 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 the UNESCO mm -hmm. uh, conventions on the transport of, uh, of, 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 of remains, of human remains, are, are saying this. And the Germans wanted to dodge, to say that no, <laughs> they, were, they don't want to be involved. When they, but they wanted the government of Namibia to be involved. Mm -hmm. When they said that they wanted to, they, they were not to be involved, I consulted Kawana, yeah. Dr. Albert Kawana here. He, he nicely advised me in the middle of the night to say that if they are saying that they are not going to be involved, we are not going to be involved too. Now let's see why they are going to hand over the, the skull. Yeah. Because they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are abrogating the agreement. Yeah. It was government including the, 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 the communities. Mm -hmm. If they are moving out, we are moving out too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, when the, the minister didn't feature, mm -hmm. we, were, had good, uh, we had good directors here. Very, Dr. Ship was there. Yeah. Our, our director of, of culture is a lady, Mombola. Uh, she has been in this game all over. We just handed it over to them. When they realized that we are handing it over to, to the lower level, they jumped, they brought back their, their directors and their, yeah. and, their, and their deputy minister. Yeah. So government was there, I went in. So, <laughs> because we, we surrendered them to the, to the, to the traditional leaders and they, they were being bombarded with questions by the international media and so on. So they realized that they are violating United Nations instruments mm -hmm 
and conventions which they have rectified themselves. Yeah. So they came in, they came back full force. Mm -hmm. So then we balanced it, then it proceeded. Okay. Here, once we have said that state actors alone, then we alienated and other people will be observers and so on. Even the, J the Jews, they never alienated the direct victims or the victims, not even the victims, mm -hmm. generational. They did not because these are the affected community. I can tell you that this, the, the issue of genocide is a crime. Mm -hmm. It's a crime declared a crime against humanity. Yeah. That's why I, this guy, <laughs> no, I will not call him a guy. There's, there's a foreign minister with these Jews respect. Mm -hmm. Let us formalize it. Ah, the, 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 the foreign minister of Germany, Mr. Heiko Maas, uh, although he's really taking us for granted and he's <laughs> they are really treating our government as, li as if they are treating themselves as zombie mm -hmm. and that's why i'm saying this whole thing is like a a bunch of clowns <laughs> yeah. not not subjecting them to any formalities and to any international laws and international instrument and conventions even those that we have rectified for him you know the way he's t selecting the the language yeah. that uh, if genocide in today's terms it will be called genocide but it was not committed today yeah. it was committed yesterday and I, I, yes, yesterday and identified by the time it took place yeah. it was recognized as genocide mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's so okay. mm -hmm. so as we wrap up um, we, I understand I understand your position on this matter but we are here now what is the way forward the way forward is to go back to the drawing table. In terms of few things, the, the whole thing is just about structure. Mm -hmm. But the deal is signed already. Our, our, and that's why the thing is sound like um, a joke. <laughs> because, honestly, it's just like you, you see when guys have got hangover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you had uh, experience hangover? Mm -hmm. You have a bunch of people with hangover. Mm -hmm. And then some are negotiating with a bam in there and you are all broke mm -hmm. hey, you don't have any cent the other guy is a no beer is coming now don't worry brandy is coming now the other one is but how is it going to come the person has he agreed mm -hmm. that we are going to pay at the end of the month there is no answer yeah. now this situation sounds like really a situation of clowns or a bad drinkers because why while the gentleman in germany is it's it's, it's, it's having a publicity yeah. uh, stand running around the world our he, he, his counterpart here is saying that she was on the media quoted i think by your newspaper mm -hmm. that she has not even seen the detail <laughs> you, are, you are laughing these are not laughing mm -hmm. laughing issues they are serious issue but they really are laughable because it sounds like <laughs> like, 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 like a circus mm -hmm. the, our minister here is saying that no she has not seen the detail. Now, which what? On one, our Minister of Foreign Affairs, who's supposed to receive this delegation, the guys in Germany are announcing that their president is arriving here. And our president here is suffering from corona. <laughs> now, you don't know also how yeah. is he going to arrive. Mm -hmm. oh, I wish him well, yeah. really, with his family. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is the reality that we are dealing with. You don't know how the logistics of this is also going to be cut out. Yeah. Uh, if our Minister of Foreign Affairs has not seen the detail, has our president seen the detail and also this thing also came to came through went through parliament yeah. when is the parliament going to be briefed and on the case of the jews also the the, the germans after they have agreed on the on the on the issue of with the with the jews mm -hmm. and the government of israel mm -hmm. at latzenberg in 1952 they went to their parliament for ratification. When is our government going to go to ratification? If our minister of foreign affairs doesn't know the detail, we don't know whether our president has been briefed. Yesterday, some chiefs, some traditional mm -hmm. chiefs, they are happy now. They are saying that they have not even seen the document. They were told to sign something there, but they are not presented with the main document. Yeah. They don't know what is in there. <laughs> so the whole thing sounds like it's really a circus. You don't know now who to believe. Are you to believe the guy in, J in Germany? And it sounds like a, a, a one man show. It's Germany is negotiating with itself, it's, it's dictating the terms, it's dictating when he's going to sign, what he's going to sign. And the very same guy who is saying that by today's definition, 
He's saying that he's not going to pay reparations. Yeah. But on the issue of reparations, as we are wrapping up, yeah. reparations have been paid by many governments. And why also, let me point it here and educate yeah. those who are... Just, 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 just in a second, uh -huh. the claim that this thing can be an, a, by state actors, it's flawed and it's false. Uh -huh. It's wrong. How, why is it wrong? The Japanese Americans, the Japanese Americans, that included Americans who were born in, in the U.S., and also immigrants, uh, uh, Americans, in, in, after the, 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 uh, during the Second World War, after the, 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 the Imperial Japan mm -hmm. armed forces, naval forces attacked the, 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 the Pearl Harbor mm -hmm. in the Honolulu area in continental U.S., President Franklin Roosevelt gave executive orders under these executive orders, although they were, ne they were not, when they were issued, they were not mm -hmm. of, 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 of racial nature, the Japanese, American, and people of Asian descent, they were targeted, about 100,000 Japanese were, 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 were thrown, were incarcerated in, in concentration camps in the very maybe close or similar to where, like the Holocaust, yeah. just in 1988, around there. The, gem, the, the American government has paid reparations. Mm -hmm. Reparations, not grants, not what, what. And the American government has paid reparations also to Native Americans. The government of Japan paid reparations to the government, the, 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 the people of, of the Filipinos. The, or is it here? The Philippines. They, they did. So reparations have been paid. Now here is the German government. You don't know why they are dodging these things. I understand why they are dodging. Mm -hmm. I'm not that naive. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm <laughs> saying that reparations are, are, have been paid. Yeah. So if you are talking about genocide, if you are honest and sincere, mm -hmm. genocide it's it's paid it's paid under reparation it's a question of you are you humbling yourself and say that colleagues we have uh, we, we we have uh, really came to admission that we have wronged one another in the yeah. past or our parents grandparents who wronged one another to find a common ground okay what deal are we getting yeah. but to run away from reparations the germans are the one who are going to lose here the whole economy of this country my friend is more than 56 of it or more than 50 percent is dominated by by the Germans, the whole stock of Mund, Luderet, it's German companies, mines and so on and so forth, and companies and trade and so on is definitely dominated by what? And also, should this country go to hell, up in smoke, the, this uh, Germans who are here, they will arrive <laughs> in Berlin as yeah. refugees. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of hidden implications. We all need to humble ourselves and look for a, a workable, amicable position and uh, which is a win-win situation yeah. for others to think that they have got up and hand, we are fooling ourselves. Let's pull together. Let's find an amicable solution. So these are my explanation. Otherwise, the whole thing will remain a clowning club. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Number, let's see how things play out. And thank you for coming through. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Yes.